Hi everyone! In this video, I will tell you how to upgrade your ASP.NET applications to the latest.NET in Visual Studio. We're going to do that with .NET Upgrade Assistant, that is a Visual Studio extension. And if you have not installed it yet, you can go to Extensions, Manage Extension, search for .NET Upgrade Assistant, and install it on your machine. Once you do that, then you can right click on your SP.NET application and you will see a new menu item called Upgrade. And that is how you run Upgrade Assistant for your web app. So I'm going to choose Upgrade Project to a newer .NET version. This is the type of upgrades it thinks is better for my application because I have a web app side-by-side -side incremental project upgrade is the best and only option. So I'm going to go with that. Here it asks if I want uh, upgrade assistant to create a new .NET 8 application or maybe if I have already started my upgrade I can show you the my new .NET uh, project and I can upgrade into that one I have not started yet so I'm choosing new project and clicking next I'm gonna give a name my app is called eShop Legacy MVC so I'll just call it .NET 8 and here is a project template. I'm going to use ASP.NET Core MVC. This is an option of which .NET framework I want to upgrade. I'm recording this video a little before .NET 8 is released. So here I still have .NET 6 as a current long-term support version, .NET 7 as standard term support version, and .NET 8 as a preview. But once .NET 8 is released in November, .NET 8 will be LTS version. And .NET 9, when we have a first preview, will be available as a preview here. So I chose .NET 8. And here I see the summary of what is going to happen on the next step. I'll click Finish so Upgrade Assistant can start working. And I'll briefly, briefly tell you what is happening now. So, Upgrade Assistant is creating a .NET 8 application. It puts it right next to my original .NET Framework application, right here. And it creates a proxy server using YARP, reverse proxy server. So now when I run my app, all the calls will be uh, going to this uh, new .NET 8 application. And it will be verified if there is implementation for this route in the new .NET 8 app. If no, it will be rerouted to my original .NET Framework app. And this way, I can start upgrading and I can still have my application working in production. Whatever I already migrated to the latest .NET will be routed to new app. What I have not touched yet will be routed to old app. So that way, my end users would not see any difference. And my app will keep be running and working in production. Let's look at the summary. So here you can see we have all the green check marks of the tasks that have been done. And we can click Done. We can see the summary. And right now I have 20 endpoints. And all of those 20 endpoints currently targeting .NET Framework. I have nothing on .NET because I have not moved any controllers or views or classes. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to click Upgrade Controller. Here I'll choose among all the controllers that I have in my app. Let's pick this one and I'll click Upgrade. So now Upgrade Assistant analyzes the controller and all the dependencies that are needed for this controller to work. And it suggests me to click or oh, check or uncheck elements for that. I'm going to leave it as is. I trust Upgrade Assistant. I'll click Upgrade. And what is happening now, it takes that controller and all the things the controller depends on, and it is moving it to .NET 8 and adds implementation of that in my .NET 8 application. 
So initially it was just a blank Hello World app and now I'm getting here models, views, controllers and so on. All right, let's see here in the summary of Upgrade Assistant, the full green checkbox means that changes have been made. The empty green checkbox means that that file was compatible as is, we just left it as like that. Now we also have a yellow warning marks. So once I click here, I can read more about the warnings I received. Let me open one. Okay, package Microsoft ASP.NET Identity Owen does not support target framework.NET 8. So I'm going to go on internet and research that and find the version of Owen that would be supported. On .NET 8, but that's something that I need to take a closer look. And now as I go to Endpoints Explorer, here I can see all the endpoints in my original application and on the left. And on the right, I can see endpoints that are implemented in my new app. So only three here, but lots of things to go through on the left. I can also look at the summary and now I can see that three endpoints of my original 20 are already on .NET 3, or on .NET 8, sorry, and I have 17 more to go. So just like that, I'm going to go and upgrade another controller or class or view and then upgrade one by one until I have all the endpoints implemented on the latest .NET. So this is how you can upgrade ASP.NET applications. And in case of ASP.NET applications, that's probably one of the hardest migration scenario because there is a huge difference between ASP.NET on framework and ASP.NET Core that is used for latest.NET, .NET 8. But we have a tooling in Visual Studio that allows you to keep upgrading your project while you are adding new features to your project, while you're developing your project. So you can easily have that migration story stretch through months or years, how much time you need, while your end users would not feel any difficulties and your project will still be running and working in production. So in this video, I showed how you can upgrade your ASP.NET applications in Visual Studio to the latest.NET.